Yo, what up? It's your boy. I'm JJ Stone, aka Black Gritty. It's uh, I got a guess with me in case you didn't know this is another person, a human being, a friend. Yeah, some would say Black Gritty's friend. <laughs> friend. <laughs> um, when we get ourselves together, uh, this is a guy running IQMZ Sports, Jason Ferguson. Uh, how you feeling, Jason? Feeling good. I'm tired of the rain, man. You know, it was fun to watch the football game in the rain, but uh, I'm over it now. Driving to work, not so good. It, it, <laughs> yeah, I don't have a job right now. I'm, I'm unemployed, so I don't have to drive anywhere unless I, unless I have to. So I've, I've been just sleeping <laughs> for the last four days. I feel like a grizzly bear. All I've done is sleep, wake up, watch football, go back, take a nap, get back up, and more sleep. So I understand sleep should be done because I got stuff I need to get done. But I'm not Living doing the anything. dream. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, our families are good. We, we talk about Philly first. Today we're just going to be talking about Philly. We're wearing red. We didn't even plan this. I opened the door. He's wearing red. I squoze into this uh, 2009 championship. I mean, it still fits. Like, I can put it on, and I won't be, like, a, a harpooned in the street. You know what I mean? It's covered all the right places. But it's a little snug. I haven't put the red in my face. That comes with it. <laughs> That's right. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe he's Maybelline. I, I don't know. But uh, so uh, the Phillies are in the playoffs. Can't believe it. I, I can't believe it either. Like four weeks ago, I got a, a Negadelphia friend who's like, they're not going to make it. Watch them fumble it. And I bet a hundred bucks on it. And if I ain't been sweating, I probably, I should have lost 10 pounds the last three weeks. Cause I'm like, my God, like he, he called it. He's like, yo, September's coming, bro. Just you wait. And it, it looked bad, but last night they, they won instead of trying to win a night or tomorrow or backing in or waiting for someone else to lose. They won it. They're in it. It feels good, right? It does. And, uh, you know, it took October to come around for Nola to put a big start into the books for the team right when they needed them. And, uh, you know, there was a reason they had a bunch of guys on that roster that have never played in the playoffs, and it was showing all through September. The pressure was getting to them. And so what do you think it is, like, about Nola? Do you think it's pressure, or do you think he just gets worn down and it just happens every September? I, I don't know what it is, but he's consistently had bad Septembers. Even in good years, like this year, I feel like Nola was back to Nola form. Yes. I was, you know, I was out on him. I was down on him. He came out on fire a little bit, and I was like, whatever. I don't believe it. The team was still losing. I'm like, whatever. I don't. Then I'm looking around. I'm like, I, I need to shut up and enjoy how good Nola's playing right now. Right? Yes, but then every time that he would do well in June, July, you're like, what about September? <laughs> what about September? And then I think part of it, the first time it happened, I think he got worn down. He was younger. Yeah. It was new to him pitching that many times. And then it became a mental game with him that once things start to go bad in September, he's like, oh, here we go again. And I don't think he could get through that mental hurdle, but apparently October is good for him. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm just happy because we haven't been in the playoffs <laughs> in such a long, long time. time. And, uh, you know, as, as much as people don't understand, like for us, you know, it's a, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. You know, the team was hyped. You know, I just throwing up some pictures on the screen. If you listen to the audio, you know, just go to their Instagram. You know, it's nice to see him pop a bottle, you know, hear the, hear the speeches and uh, just see the excitement and the joy in their face. And for us for us fans, like, people complain that we weren't going to the games because we've had our hearts broken for at least seven out of the 11-year drought where it looked like they were making a run, you try to show up, and then they fall apart. And this year, people weren't having it. Inflation, the heat wave, people were not going to the games, right? Well, every time that they would hit a big moment in the season, you're like, oh, they got momentum, and now it's time to see if they can really do it against one of the good teams, they would lose. This was the first year they finally handled their business against the bad teams like the Marlins, who used to always kill them when it became... Uh, September time to make that playoff push. They would always end up losing to the Marlins. This year's first year in a long time they found a way to win down there. They even beat the Marlins ace. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just happy because we're in the playoffs. I don't, I'm not even like expectations of whatever because once you're in, anything could happen. You could get on a hot streak. Um, we, we should be able to hit anyone. When this team rakes like the way they're supposed to, it's a scary team. But we also hit a drought in hitting. Yeah, it's hard to do once the weather gets a little cold to hit those home runs. Yeah. And, you know, the pitching gets a little more serious now. The Phillies have the starters to win a short series. The bullpen? Yeah. 
that's that's a nightmare situation. And, and I, you know, I'm proud of the team because they fought through Bryce being down for months. You know, a manager change. Which, um, what, what do you think about the manager? He's okay. He's better than Girardi. He's better than Girardi. Which isn't, you know. I I felt like he should get a chance to be the manager next year, and then they started falling apart like they usually do. Yeah, and, like, well, and now I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to, you know what I mean, give it to him. Then I was wondering how many times can we switch managers and the team still collapse before we realize it's it not the, the manager. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, uh, your boy out there in, in San Francisco – he fell apart too. Not so. a good year for him. Oh, he was on, <laughs> and he was on fire. I mean, you know, local radio stations were just praising him. You know, uh, DeGilio mostly because he that was his guy. Wow. But you know, when he fell apart, it was all crickets. And now, you know, it's just. I mean, coach of the year last year though. Yeah, took I, that team to heights they weren't supposed to reach. I, it's a uh, god. Great beard too. Yeah, I can't get that. I know. I, well, I got you my, got it. Well, I can't I got get it. that. I got it. Uh, so yeah, it, you know, I'm, I'm just happy to see it. You know, Bryce is forever my MVP. That's a good looking man right there. And, uh, what are you saying about Scott? Like <laughs> Bryce and stop. Yeah. Looks like a high school player that thinks he's real good at baseball, but isn't really that good. Yeah. He, he like I said, he reminds me of, like the entourage buddy where <laughs> yeah. like his buddy plays professional sports and he like gets the groceries, drives the car. You know what I mean? Like he's always there. Like that's his buddy, but he doesn't actually play the game. That's what he looks like in the face. But, you know, again, uh, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for us. You know, uh, this guy got cut off by his wife. His speech was going to be long. I don't know if they <laughs> would, this one where they had it, but. And I am so proud to be associated with all the players, our coaches. Oh, staff, somebody did it early there, too. Yep, you heard him pop it. There's another pop. More wins, more world okay? Congratulations. Enjoy this. You, you've earned it. Okay? Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Like I said, I know that it's wild card birth, and I know. I know. I, I'm, not, I'm not disputing all those it's good to be in. things. It's good to be in, <laughs> and especially because you. it's just like uh, Jalen Hurts getting in to the playoffs last year. Yes, they got smoked by Tampa Bay. But it matters. But it matters because you have the experience and you get to take that step forward as opposed to saying that you've never even been in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just happy for the team. That's why I just want to start off with the Phillies. And it's like I said, it's funny that we both decided to wear red because – You got to celebrate. You got to celebrate. Did and, you see uh, last week when the Mariners clinched their playoff spot, making the Phillies the team that was the longest playoff drought in baseball? So, But did you see when they popped the bottle early while their coach was talking? Yeah. He stopped like, no, you didn't. Yeah, he like, was he was upset. He's like, I've been waiting my whole life for this speech. I've been waiting 20 years. Uh, one, of the, one of the fun stats on the internet that I saw – was um <laughs> somebody had the um the last time the Marlins were in the playoffs there were five thousand two hundred and twenty seven blockbusters active in the United oh, States. Oh, they were doing that for the Phillies too. I know. <laughs> now there's hey, one. Look, 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 look. Yeah. I ain't bringing up with the Phillies uh, that I'm talking about the Mariners. I'm trying to clown on them, you know. That's I was trying to find the list today of the Phillies players who were top of the list of guys that haven't made the playoffs. And Segura's one. Yeah. Real Muto's two. Yeah. And I know I think Hoskins is four, and out of the pitchers, I know that Nola and Wheeler I think are one and two. Wow! But not anymore. Not anymore. Now the list changes. And the list and the list changes. And again, going forward, I just you know I'll feel better about next season knowing that they know the the taste because that's the thing too about being a player and anything you know obviously we we've never played professionally but we coach things and we play sports and you know just being in the playoffs like you know we came from a small school when yeah. our wrestling team. Got into the playoffs. It it's was exciting. a big deal because uh, the town had not been in the playoffs for such a long time. It made a huge difference. And, you know, that little thing carries on, and then the teams get better. The girls' softball team in our town, you know, they won the state championship. Like, they're smallest town in the state, and blah, 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 but they won a championship. And then they go back, and they go back to another one. So it sparks things, and you got to get in the playoffs to get that opportunity. Yeah, you can't win a championship if you don't make the playoffs. Oh, 
Oh, I wish, if I, I That's wish hard hitting analysis. I, by I, the way, I wish I wish we had some champagne <laughs> to spray on. You know what I mean? I'm about to go get some orange juice or something out of the fridge real quick. <laughs> just, just brought like a little spray bottle. Yeah, just missed it. I mean, like. <laughs> Like, look, there's a lot of electronics. We yeah, gotta, yeah I know. Them. That's the first. That's the first thing why I ain't popping no bottles over here. That'd be shoot. Insurance claim is high. Yeah. Uh, so before we talk about the birds, which is obviously most important, let's just say, uh, what do you, what do you think about the the flyers in general this year? We, we gonna suck again? Yes. Okay. Cool. <laughs> we covered the flyers. That's flyers talk for we, the entire year. Yes. We covered it. Uh, the the union. Had a terrible game uh, the other night when they could have clinched a uh, home field. They, I don't watch them much soccer. I don't know much soccer. I know you coach soccer, yeah. but just I watched the whole game, which is rare for me. I'll admit that. But they look like they didn't want to get off the bus to be there. Like they, they. Isn't stood, that weird when that happens? It's and again, a, a, from from someone who doesn't know the sport that much, but when you watch sports, sometimes you're just not up for the game. As a man, as a person, as a woman, as a player, as a human being, sometimes you're just not there. And that whole team was standing around watching the other team run circles around him, not putting in any effort. And I've only watched like four games this year, but that I instantly saw off the bat. I'm like, man, they don't want to play. Right. They don't want to play today. And that's, it showed in the final score. That's how the Eagles game looked in the first, you know, 10 minutes, not to jump ahead of our yeah. topics, but that's yeah. really how that looked too. I was yeah. like, oh man, it's one of those today. Yeah. I'm 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 purposely putting the Eagles at the end so that anybody who's watching this will suffer through the, the, the first talk because we get to the other side of it, they ain't gonna listen yeah, to it. No, no, so no. you know, I um so let's uh let's think too. The the Philadelphia clap your hands, everybody, uh 76ers uh also are back in uh, the sport of basketball and play with the preseason, and they played our boy last night. Well, not our boy. They and played. Boy. They played our used to be kind of boy <laughs> last night. Uh, Benjamin Simmons was there. Oh wait, hold on. I got this for you. I got the. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Let's let's see these. Let's see these. Oh, I just see they, they is dunking. Hold on. There goes Kyrie. Uh, Good pass. It was a great pass. <laughs> Bad Yo, defense. Kyrie Irving. <laughs> I'm going to let this run for a second because it's Kyrie doing his little play. That's great. Kyrie said, oh, I just told Ben that if he plays with all world players like us, like, you know, like he has been, <laughs> we're going to make the game easier for him. Mm -hmm. Not for nothing. Ben makes the game easier for you because all he wants right. to do is run and hot potato the ball. Yes. He bullies to the hole and then hot potatoes it out, and you'll get a wide open shot because he sucks the defense in. Um, he'll be fine there. He, yeah, he'll be fine. He's a good. Playoffs. He's a good defender. He won't shoot. He can't shoot free throws. If he just did his free throws, he'd be fine. But uh, just to Kyrie Irving it up, <laughs> Kareem Abdul-Jabbar just came out and yammed on him because he's out here retweeting Alex Jones and Sandy Hook is, is fake, and he wants people to boycott Kyrie Irving, and I, I'm I'm all for it. I you usually should. am all pro player, <laughs> but I'm like, this dude thinks he's one of the smartest people in the world, and he is not. Uh, ba basketball is about to go back to – 18 letting you back into play right they need to force a three-year rule and have you get an education they should call it the Kyrie rule y'all need to learn something duke must be proud that he went there oh for a semester god. oh my god they're like never mention us ever. no please don't please don't mention us and uh obviously the sixers won last night and this isn't about them per se that's the highlights because that was brooklyn <laughs> You know, I'm, the maxi I'm, highlights I'm, 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 I'm gonna close that tab <laughs> out and then go right back to it. That's just exactly what I was gonna do. I'm like, yo, this is the golden child right here. When I was yelled at, and I know you two were in the same boat of, we can't get rid of this dude. Not that he's untouchable, not that I ever say like we couldn't get rid of him, but for what we were being offered, I didn't want to let him go. For which deal? I would have done it for Durant. Oh. Again, that, like so. see, that's a no. <laughs> yeah. That's a no brainer to me. When people I, were saying no to that one, I'm like, are you guys serious? I would have did it for Durant. I would have did it for Beal, because I feel like they both would have fit here. Yeah. Um, and I, I feel like Beal gives me what he gives me. Yeah. The the possibility of giving me 30, 40 points a game at right. will. So, uh, but other than that, like when you're a Harden, I'm like, are you insane? Yeah, I wouldn't have done it for Harden. No, not Harden, and I wouldn't have done it for the Buddy Heel. Um. Mm -hmm. Whatever package that was. I would have done the Ben Simmons deal for Buddy Heald and uh, Halliburton from Sacramento last year that ended up going to Indiana. But Yeah, yeah. But I I, I just wasn't giving up Maxi unless, again, it was like one of those what are you stupid kind yeah. of deals. This kid is... He just gets better. 
not only does it just get better, he gets better in spite of Glenn Rivers. Yes. <laughs> in spite of Glenn Rivers, who is notorious about shipping off young talent, not developing young talent. He is the kind of coach that likes to have his players established. He likes veterans. He'll he'll trade off younger pieces to get more veterans in. And this kid made it impossible for him to get rid of or for ownership or management or more to get rid of. Um, he's so fast. You know, I call him, I called him AI light in the beginning of last year. People laughed at me. Now, guess what? AI light sounds pretty good. I didn't call him out Iverson. He's a better shooter. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I see. I don't even try to be saying that stuff out loud. Too loud. I didn't, I didn't call him Allen Iverson. I said AI light. He is lightning up and down the court and his shooting has improved. His three point shooting has improved almost 13%. My goodness. He is a walking 30 point night on random. Like he'll just be when the game's on and he's hitting them and you let him get his shots. He's getting by you at the hole. You're leaving him wide open on three for some reason. I don't know what that's about. Like last night, I mean, all the sixes were just right. shooting from three. Nobody I mean, was guarding Nets anybody. Don't play defense. Yeah, they don't. But uh, I love Tyrese Maxey. I had to get my daughter a Tyrese jersey. Uh, I told her, I was like, look, let me just hold <laughs> off. To, please just let <laughs> me wait the <laughs> till the trade line is over and everything is done. And then I'll get you the jersey. But this kid, this kid is special. And um, I'm happy that we still have him. Uh, I don't personally, I don't believe in James Harden being in shape or being different. I believe he is the same James Harden. He's always going to be the same James Harden. I feel like we're going to have a phenomenal regular season. And then choking the playoffs. And then choking the playoffs. Another round two exit. That's the fear. I, 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 I don't pray, but I should pray that we get to the third round so I can stop calling Glenn Glenn and call him Doc. You know I, what the worst part about it is? What is it? You can't enjoy the regular season. No matter what happens, I'm like, yeah, but, you know. And, and, you know, I go to games. Like, I take my daughter to games, and, and we win at home, and the, the crowd is electric. Like, being at a home game in Philadelphia for anything so much fun. is one of you – know, I'll put it up there with, like, the top ten greatest live events uh, in the world mm -hmm. at a Philadelphia event. Um Concerts, you know, Springsteen, you know, any anything you want to put on where you think that you want to rock out to or, or vibe with. If you're in the stands in Philadelphia, especially when they're good, my gosh, you, man, yep. the, the energy, the power, the feel, the love. As much as people hate on Philadelphia, man, I see a whole lot of fights going on across the country. It's weird how those never get big attention. No. I, and, and, and the internet be putting them on blast. So I see all these other fans, the LA Rams, you know, that are sophisticated. It's Los Angeles. They're out there beating each other down. Vegas, you know, I got money to win, but people out here hitting women and women jumping off of balconies on people. Like Philadelphia, when you go to an event, like, of course, you might get heckled. You might get booed. You might get trash talked. But in general, it's just a good vibe. It's a good party. The right. tailgate situation, we tailgate. Like rational human beings. Well, you wake up well. at 6 in the morning. You start <laughs> drinking at 6.15. You eat three, four times. You keep drinking the whole time. But we're not jumping through tables, setting fire to cats. Oh. or any. I mean, sometimes we <laughs> might fall through a table. They might jumping off. Like, you know what I mean? It's not It's not the Buffalo style. We're all right out here. Don't be telling the secrets. We, we, we do good. We do the best we can. It's a great party. Love Philadelphia. Love the Sixers. But like you said, it's hard to enjoy the regular season. You know I'm going to. I'm going, I did it last year. I turned off my mind. I enjoyed regular season because, again, I go to the games, and it's so much fun watching them play. But once the playoffs come, my heart hurts a little bit because I'm like, what are we going to do? Right. You know Your boy's I mean. still on the team too, by the way. Yeah. Furkan. Your, your boy, Furky. There you go. Oh, look at it with the pump thing. Oh, look at the floater. The That's... worst shooting sharpshooter in the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a three-point specialist. You yeah. can't shoot threes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. getting better. He's a, he's a dollar store um uh, what's a Corver? He's a dollar a store. Wish. Corver. Yeah, yeah. Well, you order them off of wish. wish. That's what it is. Like, what is this? Uh, look, 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 look. They got my man front and center. They they out there furking it up. Boy, they got him. He is shining. That my favorite is like once every two months he'll have a game where he hits like six or seven threes and everybody comes out like, See, yeah. I told you, I told you he can shoot. Yeah, no, yeah. He cannot shoot. You know uh, the Sixers' biggest problem is defensively. Oh, wow. Maxi, not a great defender. Not Harden. Right. Not a defender. Not even a not a great one. Just not a defender. Joel, Tobias. Joel protects the rim. Uh huh. 
spice. Oh, we did get tougher. I forgot. Yeah. We're tough now. We got mantra. <laughs> we got. Stop it. <laughs> Thibel hit some threes yesterday. Did he? Yeah. He That's hit, a good thing. He hit two. Like, one was somebody was in his face. So I'm happy about that. Hey, as long as he's shooting them. That was the same thing, right? Just shoot the ball. Yeah, just shoot the ball. I was. <laughs> I was trying to be happy, and then you took me down. So now we got to get back to being happy again. <laughs> Finally, uh, I'll actually put a note in the show for anybody who's here. You get to the point where you just want to hear about the birds. The Eagles are 4-0. and Eagles are 4-0. and They are not world beaters. They have one of the easiest schedules in the league, but you still have to play who's in front of you. And they're beating teams in multiple ways. Multiple ways. Multiple ways, which is the biggest takeaway for me, is that you want us to pass the ball? Fine. You won't let our quarterback pass the ball? He'll run it. You won't let him run it? Oh, the running backs will run it. You won't let them run it? Okay, well, the defense is going to get seven sacks and nine takeaways, and we're going to hold you down while the offense figures it out or breaks through with a play. I mean... That's overall great football. Mine is special teams right now because our kicker's down. But I don't I don't have us having the best player at any position, except for probably Lane Johnson. Yeah, definitely. And maybe and Kelsey. Kelsey. Kelsey's still probably. Kelsey's top three yeah. centers in the league still. Um, so other than the offensive line, I wouldn't say we have the best players in the league, but we've got high-level players at each position. And our cornerbacks now are solidified. Might be the best receiving core in the league. Might, might be, be. Might be the best it's receiving core. Debatable. Corner it. So if corners nothing, corners maybe. If so, if nothing else, corners, receivers, and even tight end. Yeah. Even even so. ti- even tight. <laughs> so the. <clears throat> okay. So we're you know everybody knows they're four zero. They're great. Yeah. Whatever. Let's talk about the nuances of things. God, it might be the top two tight end in the league. Kelsey's still number one because of his usage, and especially now the way they have to use him. But Goddard's a better blocker than him. Goddard's a better blocker. Not a better blocker than Kittle, though. But Kittle doesn't catch the ball anymore. They don't throw to him. He doesn't run passing routes. Like, again, I don't play fantasy anymore because I hate playing it (sighs) anymore, but uh, I do check up on fantasy stats and things like that. Kittle is killing fantasy owners where people are letting him go Yeah, because basically he's just a, a lineman. He's an offensive lineman. So that's because they lost Trent Williams for a little bit. Yeah. So who so, might who's probably the best left tackle in the league. Yeah. Um, so Goddard, you know, I watched some of the the uh let me go back to the screen because I'm already talking. Best screen pass tight end in the best league. Best screen pass <laughs> tight end. He is I watched Zach Ertz because I watched two of the Cardinals games. No Yag Zach is still no Yag Zach. Does Goddard's he get open? Yak. Yes, he gets the ball. (laughs) Does he catch it? Yes, but he always goes down. Like, he had a chance to get a touchdown to win the game, and he fell down a yard short and was complaining. Like, dude, you fell down. You didn't even fight for it. Goddard is trucking people. He is juking people. He's olaying dudes. And I'm like, (laughs) okay, buddy. Like, he, after Kelsey, I don't know who's better than him in the league. And and Pitts Pitts will be there, but now Atlanta doesn't use him at all either. Yeah. For some reason. Pitts will be there, but right now it's I feel it. like it's got to be Goddard. Yeah. And and the only reason people aren't recognizing Goddard yet is because he was behind Zach for that year. Maybe Was it two years or one year? Two or three. Two or three years. Yeah. So he was behind him, and he's just like, he is a nice cover blanket. And again, the, the offense is just impressive. Um, who, who else on the offense? Smith is tough. He looked good with no gloves on in the ring. <laughs> I know you like that boy. That that got you going. I was you was like, like, wait a minute. You was like, you was like, if my man ain't got no, no gloves, gloves. That, that's that old school. That's yeah. that classic feel. I need to feel the ball. And uh, he goes up and he gets it. He fights for things. You know, he he is quick and speedy, and uh, it's just it's just nice. Let me get that out of there because that's in your face. A skinny Batman. Uh, sk- so. <laughs> I need to get on to a point where I have time to talk about that because obviously they're football players and it was said in the moment, but Batman has a uh, bat suit, Batman, yeah. future Batman. Like there's all kinds of uh, the aqua Batman. Like I needed to go give them actual names of different versions of Batman because fat Batman, swole Batman and skinny Batman is and a, sexy Batman and sexy Batman is the offensive line. It's irking me. <laughs> So much. So I've got to go personally go rename them all with actual Batman titles 
And uh, yeah, so Reddick, Gannon, you know, we, we talk offline all the time. Yes. I hated Gannon so much. Uh, I hated his play calling. I disliked everything about him in general. Mm -hmm. Right now, he's shutting me up. Bar the point of me playing a real quarterback. He's, again, you can't take anything away from the team because they're doing what they need to do and they're playing who's in front of them. I When we play Aaron Rodgers, that's when I want to see what's going on. Are you, are you going to let this dude put up 70%, 80% passing for a game? Then I'll know for sure. But right now, he's using his personnel the way it should be used. Yeah, we talked about in the offseason, I said it would be a good thing that he was coming back because it will be a second year in the same system. Then week one happened and was like, well, maybe not. I don't see anything changing. He wanted his new toys, and he didn't use any of them. And now since then, they play a different style of defense. They've changed the way they line up their defensive linemen. They use Jordan Davis. Still not a lot, but yeah. they use him in key situations to allow Cox and Hargrave to get uh, into the gaps and get pressure up the middle on quarterbacks. And now they're creating turnovers all over the place. So uh, I forgot. Dang, I can't remember his name. I'm annoyed. Ooh. But he uh, he <laughs> sent a tweet out, and I retweeted it. He, he called him um, – he called him Trevor Wentz. <laughs> that was a good one. Trevor Wentz gets the five fumbles. Uh, I don't know what he was doing. It's not like he has a Kenny Pickett small hands where the bad weather's going to mess you oh, up there. Wow, don't do that. Don't <laughs> do that. Do that. The, so the the problem was he played in Clemson. He didn't ever play. He never played in the rain. He didn't play in the rain a lot. Secondly, the pressure I feel like from the Doug Bowl. And, you know, just being up here and being in that driving rain and not having experience in it, yeah. he has been playing phenomenally the first three really weeks of the year. He's He was fourth in the league in speed of getting rid of the ball. It was like 2.4 seconds or something like that. He was getting the ball out of his hands. But against our defense, who was covered, covering very well, even with injuries, that's nothing to bring up in a second. They were missing a receiver, they, one of their starters. They were missing a receiver. But he was just holding on to the ball longer than he has yeah. the whole season. And I, I liken that back to the weather, the nerves, and the pressure. Yeah. Because even though, you know, I'm sure Doug said whatever, but I know Doug wanted to come in here and win this game. Well, that's why Jacksonville jumped out so fast. They uh, were so trying to win that game for their coach, who they love. Uh, and as you can see post game, the Eagles love too. Yeah, they, they do. Um, I was Doug negative, then I went to Doug neutral. Yeah. Now I'm forever Doug positive. I still because think his Bowl. statue is stupid since he still coaches in the league, but that's. Right. Yeah. Like, it's a good the, memory, but like the statue, <laughs> the statue was just a, a point of contention all over the place. Like yeah, the I've just statue. Never been a fan of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm just rolling the highlights. Oh, your talking, best friend, but, BG. Uh, BG. Yeah, I met <laughs> BG. Hey, BG knew my name. You know what I mean? And he saw my jersey. Well, I'm it's sad that I got my black gritty on the back of my jersey. This is America. I got to promote myself. <laughs> and uh, you know, it was like, oh, BG, BG. That's cool. I told him I'm little BG. And he said, I'm not that little. And I appreciate that slander because you're, you're tall. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate that because, you know, I just like when he's mic'd up, he just talks so much trash and just a fun guy, and uh, that was cool, whatever, for a second. But um, Sanders, we're all over the place with these birds, but, I mean, yeah. Sanders wants this check. They're finally giving him the ball and not pulling him out because he's not being stupid. He got he didn't get the carries he deserved because he fumbles. Not only does he fumble, he, doesn't under, he didn't understand – down in distance and situational football. Mm -hmm. Two times he ran out of bounds when he should have stayed in bounds. Another time he stayed in bounds when he should have ran out of bounds. And when you're watching the coaches explain it to him on the sidelines, he's oblivious to it. Like, bro, we need this time. Bro, we got to run this clock. And he was making those mistakes. You know, and, and I think one game we lost because of it, but another game, you know, it's still like you could lose games because of that. But this year, obviously, he needs to get a check. Would you pay him? As a... If a as a Philadelphia Eagles, no, I would not pay him. I would not pay him either. I would not pay For him. For two reasons. What? One, you should never pay a running back unless they're top five. You get Derrick Henry, you pay Derrick Henry. Barkley, you got to pay him even with the injuries. You got to pay him because he's so good. Yeah. Sanders, we can find a Sanders. Yeah, we, we could definitely find a Sanders. He doesn't seem to be as fast as he used to be. Um. <laughs> He broke a couple of runs. I don't even know if it's his speed as much as I feel like one is his durability, yeah. his IQ. I'm just not paying. I'm not paying him. I'll find somebody else. I'm not paying him. Uh, we, we could draft somebody else. We got a lot of draft picks still. Howie's looking so good. 
Even uh, grabbing Trey Sermon after the Niners cut him a third round pick last year, the Niners cut him and everyone couldn't believe it. Yeah, and, and, he, and he broke two 15 yard rushes. Okay. Yeah. Now he's more of a straight line runner, which is kind of what you need in this offense. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're going to open up holes for you. The line is going to open up holes for you. Um, I don't like in the league this year because I thought it was just a us thing, but they're calling this lineman downfield crap all the time. Yeah, I, I don't watch understand what so that is. many games, and it's like, what are we doing? I don't understand. In the past two years, though, the Eagles have to lead the league in an illegal lineman downfield, right? Yeah. Oh, I, I believe it. I, I think that it. partially has to be that Hurts holds the ball a little bit longer than he should on those screen passes. Yeah. Especially yeah. last year. Yeah, this year I don't feel like – this year I almost feel like it's nitpicking. Yeah, I agree. Uh, when I watch the Eagles, uh, right now we're just showing Doug and uh, Hurts hugging it up, and, and Doug and, and Kelsey had a nice long exchange. Kelsey got his jacket. Him and Lane, you know, had a good talk. Uh, Brandon Graham actually talked about how he talked to him before the game and uh, talked to him again after the game. Standing ovation from the crowd. As you should. Um, as you should. And, it, you know, again, I uh, he won me a Super Bowl. I have no ill will towards this man. I just like making jokes about ice cream. <laughs> and, people so were, some ice cream. and people were working hard <laughs> to get this ice cream because I just, you know, I just thought that was cute and funny throughout the whole thing about it, just getting this ice cream. But... Uh, Sanders had a career day in the rain from a slow start where I was like, man, I, I tweet out the game. I'm like, we don't have any mutters. Like, there's nobody on this team that is a mutter. So what do we, you know what I mean? Like, but then he ended up showing up. Um, the, the, they, they're not going to show that clip, but uh, the, the Brown chase down oh, where he didn't. He was running about as hard as I do on a treadmill. Oh, man, he. He he missed his Metcalf opportunity, but he got my a lot of hurt doing that. <laughs> so that's the issue. It is, and that's that's the thing too, where you're like, you know, just let it go. But and if that was the case, he should just let it go because he like faked and whiffed that, and then you know, had, you know, yeah, that whole thing. He explained it away. Good explanation. It won't happen again. I promise you, because he was literally right there. All I had to do was stick his hand out, and he would at least touch them. Yeah. But you know, business decision. A guy who was trying to stay healthy and. um my lot of going down, the way he went down, looked bad. Looked bad. Yeah. Seems like he's going to be okay. Yeah, I think I don't know if he plays this week though. So okay, let's talk about this week um, before we just uh, wrap this up with our rambling. Big play slays out forearm. Doesn't seem like it's broken or anything like that. Uh, uh, hopefully, it doesn't come back as like a slight fracture or anything weird. Because uh, even if it's a slight fra fracture, he'll just probably wear like one of those um, the sleeve. sleeves. Sleeves. Or whatever, but it was enough to keep him out of the game. But I think he could have came back in if needed. But yeah, McPherson played good in his spot. He did. Uh, next man up mentality. I appreciate that. I like that a lot, and uh, it shows that the team can get by without. But I'll tell you, I want to rest everybody this week. Yeah, I don't care. I honestly don't care, and I know that sounds horrible. I know that we, you know what I mean, want to stay undefeated. But right now, the whole league does one, three. I, I timed it. You know, I got time. So mm -hmm. I'm watching every single show. Colin Coward is the only person who's talked about the Eagles for a whole segment. Everybody else just says, oh, you know the Eagles number one. Stephen A's list, yeah, they're number one. You know, like they'll just say it like, oh, yep. whatever. But they won't. They're not talking about it unless it's that speak show with Shady on there because Shady is standing for us right now. But everybody else, nobody's talking about us in our 4-0. Like, they say we're 4-0, and then that's about it. They move on. They're not looking at any of our games. They're spending more time on Baker Mayfield and, and Carolina than they are on the Eagles, which is fine. Yes, fly about the Eagles. Fly under the <laughs> radar because, you know, we were all pumped up and hyping us up before the season starts. So I don't even mind that, like, we get no segments and it's still the LeBron show and the, the Dak whatever thumb. Cool. But this week... Go out there, rest your players. I don't even care if we lose in Arizona, which we've lost in Arizona for the last, like, 10 years straight. I don't know what's in the water <laughs> or the air out there. Whenever Eagles go out there, they lose. doesn't matter who the quarterback is. doesn't matter who the coach is. Go out there, rest up, lose for all I care. Former NFC East rival. The yes. Cardinals. Yes. Form, <laughs> that's right. Back when Jake Plummer was out there throwing that thing. Um, <laughs> I was but, at a game where he won it last minute on a touchdown at the vet. Yeah. I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not not to not to not to say anything about white people, but Jake Plum was white boy wasted. That dude just looked like he had a six pack in him at all times, and he was a second away from flinging four touchdowns to destroy your whole life before he took a nap. Like he was just, 
just like one of the weirdest quarterbacks yeah. that I've ever seen play. Like he, he anyway, we were not no, yeses out there. So go out there, rest up, win or lose, but I need the rest of the players. We come back, we play the Cowboys at home on Sunday night football. Jason Ferguson, if we lose that game, it is going to be a huge problem. National media will call us frauds, tell us that nobody believed in us the whole time. You know, they haven't been talking about us the way they should be. Yeah. They're going to trash us. They're going to destroy us. And then we're going to have to sit for two weeks and hear the Cowboys are number one. The Cowboys are going to win a division. The Cowboys. I don't want to live like that. No, I don't. Plus, you know, everyone will quickly, quickly be out on the quarterback that everyone likes right now if they happen to lose to the Cowboys. And not only that, if Cooper Rush is still the quarterback and we lose to the Cowboys. Cooper Rush, Cooper Rush the darling of the NFL. He's 3-0. Three, oh. By the way, so you talked about the Eagles are 4-0. Oh, they haven't played anyone. Yeah. But Cooper Rush is 3-0. and oh, And know. they played... No one. No one. Like, I know. Like, so. I know. And uh, the crazy thing about that is, is like, so <clears throat> when would you bring Dak back? When he's healthy? Well, as long as they keep winning, then yes, you're going to let Dak sit a little bit longer and let him get as healthy as he could be. I don't bring don't Dak. I don't right. bring Dak back until they at least went lose one game. Yeah. They lose a game. They lose two games. I'm bringing Dak back. Because yeah. right now with him winning, you can't bring Dak. If they go in there, if the Cowboys go and beat the Rams, Dak's not playing against the Eagles. No, he's not. Because he comes in here and loses against the Eagles, this whole thing goes downhill for them. By the way, we talk about how quick everyone thinks Dak stinks now, too. Dak, oh, God. That's so funny to me. It's uh, so. He doesn't stink, by the way. He, He's not he, elite. He doesn't stink. Like, I just don't believe that the weapons that Jerry Jones has left him with are going to help him, per no. se. The coach so. that they have. Oh, McCarthy's <laughs> going to let them down. McCar yes. uh, everybody's like, oh, McCarthy's doing such a great job. He's doing the Cooper Rush. I'm like, look at the competition. Cool. But again, go ahead and enjoy that ride. Enjoy that fun. Uh, we got to beat these freaking Cowboys. Yep, that's the most important game right now. That, that is the most important game right now. And again, I, you know, I, I hate looking past the team, but Kyler Murray, they suck. Uh, but Kyler Murray can Talk do. Talk about a bad coach. Oh, God. <laughs> He, he looks like he's on Adderall or something. His eyes are always red and darting, and he's just like, he's all, he, they could be up, and he's panicking. <laughs> like, he always, did you see them arguing the other day? <laughs> yeah. Which happened. But it just, it does, but like it's that, funny. It's so funny. There's been a lot of sideline pop-offs this year already. Uh, the Rams had one last night. The uh, Ravens. The Ravens had a bad, had a bad one. one. The Saints had a bad Chiefs. one over in London. The Chiefs. Right. Yeah, if, if the enemy don't do, do nothing, Shady's like, yeah, if the enemy don't do nothing but call terrible. Like, yeah. Shady so, will throw the bus oh, on anybody. Man. <laughs> he, he, shady, boy. He, but talk about living up to your Mammy Jammy name, brother. You, <laughs> he is. He is Shady. So, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't even care about the Cardinals game. If we lose that game, I don't want to hear shit. I'm not going to say shit. It doesn't matter to me. I just need them to be healthy at full strength as much as possible for the Cowboys. The one thing I'll say about the Cowboys, great defense. They can't stop the run. No, but Parsons Every, is a game changer. Parsons is a game changer on passing. Yes. They've given up 120 plus yards four weeks in a row to four different kind of backs. Run this dang gun ball. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. It's still two weeks away. We talk about it. I mean, we. That's how much this is bothering me. <laughs> You're worried, huh? I, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I, I, you, you could, again, not even be in Negadelphia. You could see the highlights now, the headlines now, mm -hmm. especially if it's Cooper Rush in there. So, yeah, we got to we gotta get, get our, sh our stuff together and see what's going on. But right now, great game. Jalen Hurts is everything you wanted it to be. I, I'm so glad. I didn't want Russ. I look like a genius, and I didn't want Russ because I thought he was cooked, which it looks like he is, he but I think that's cooked. coaching. We talked about that. Yeah. It looks like poor coaching. But I didn't want to pay him, and I think he's a herb dude, and he's a cheese ball, and I just don't like his positive attitude. Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> I don't I don't like the way he makes me feel as a person. I know he's a good person, a good dad. I just didn't want him for my team. And Geno Smith out here making $1.25 an hour. <laughs> But he won't write you back. Oh, he won't write me back. He ain't <laughs> worried about that. You know what I mean, every time Gino Smith talks, now I hear is DJ Collin. They didn't believe in me. God oh. did. 
<laughs> Gino just needs to start doing that. God did. I'm 77% passer rating. By the way, it's so funny because Hertz is clearly such a leader that everybody buys in. He talks in the same weird cliches that Russ does, but he just says it in a much cooler way. So, okay. A little let, bit of swag with let, his. Let me see right? if I can get this. Uh, that's the Sirianni speech. Let me see if I can get this. I mean, he doesn't have the video like Russ did with the fake huddle and the fake drive when he was rehabbing last year. Yeah. So. Because Russ is a weird guy. <laughs> Was rent due? Hey man, regardless of what happened, we say it all the time. So you know what you can. Uh, we had it that way better with the details, the preparation, everything we do. Rain, sleet, the snow, the Eagles train to go. Persevere. It was cold out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need that to continue to do what we're trying to do. Hey, man, I love y'all, boys. This is a family, man. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. family. So, I, okay, to your point, what you just said, you, what's the difference, though? That he's sincere about it. He means it. Not only, not only is he sincere <laughs> about it, when he says, cut that shit down, yeah. we family, F this, F that, like, He'll, he'll th when he's talking to you, he'll throw in the expletives. He'll talk even though he knows the cameras on or whatever. Wilson's all, all Wilson acts like a, a Mormon in church with a microphone plugged on him at all times. Yeah, do you I think just because he doesn't curse? Yeah, Brian Dawkins didn't curse. What? Brian Dawkins doesn't curse. B Brian Dawkins. <laughs> Brian, it's, it's not about just the cursing. It's about the calculation in your conversation. Yes. It's the, you know, well, I'm telling you, we're going to go out right. and we're going to be in and ha, right. ra, be, boom, ba. Like, okay, well, if you're really hyped up and you believe in this team and how we're doing, you might let a couple things slip out. Yes. Russ looks like he sits in the mirror every night for four hours. Let's ride. Yes, it's rehearsed. I believe in you. Yeah. Do you believe in me? <laughs> we are the Broncos and we have horses. And can anybody get me some synonyms for horses and riding? Yeah. I need all the synonyms <laughs> so I can put them in my speech. Like, that's how he feels to me. And I feel like he cooks bunnies in the middle of the night or something because he's trying to be too perfect. Like, I <laughs> just, I watched Jeffrey Dahmer lately. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. When you think somebody is one way all the time, it bothers me. I'd rather see Jalen, you know, slip up. Again, I think Jalen's a little corny sometimes. He got yeah. a little gold hoop in. He got the chain on, looking like he's still repping Jordan from the 90s. I get it. That's his style. It's cool. But, yes, he says the right things. But you also see when they, when they got Brown, he, he he got a little thug, let that slip out of him. He was like, he's like, oh, brother. We, I, 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 I. Like, he, you know what I mean? Like, he's real. You know, he he's, he's a professional. All the intangibles that you he really want. He does have those. He does have all the intangibles. He says the right things. He's galvanizing the team. But he's, like you said, he's just real. And uh, I'm happy we kept him because my whole thing was you give him all these weapons, if he if he can't do nothing with these weapons, he's yeah, out. He do it. Yep. Because now you've given him everything. The second best uh, tight end, top tie for wide receivers, best offensive line in the National Football League, a defense that is stout and that can stand up and get you the ball, mm -hmm. short fieldage. I mean, what else do you want? Oh, and Cox out here with his resurgence. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that Playing was my that snaps. Yo, that was <laughs> shut up. Was, I mean, that helps. That was, that was my that was my uh, uh dark, dark pull. Yeah, like Cox is gonna come back and had a year of a lifetime surrounded by all these young bulls. And and it's looking pretty good for Cox right now. You, you know, but uh Davis does help that when you got somebody next to you. Last thing I'll say. Aaron Donald, nobody's been double teamed more than him the last four years. Right. He needs somebody else. Yes. That that's why Von Miller not being there that hurts him. Is now hurting him where he's not do last year when Von got there, you you know, we talked about this. It's mm -hmm. like boom or bust when you watch the Rams where Donald would quote unquote be the game wrecker. Now he doesn't have that running mate, he's not doing anything. So I know that was one of my text that you're like, well, I wish I hadn't have sent that one <laughs> yeah. during the Super Bowl. I'm like, this guy never shows up and does anything. Yeah. Three sacks. Like, yep. yep. Well. Uh, never mind. You know, it is yeah. what it is. Uh, uh, you can follow Jason on Twitter. A link will be in the bio. Uh, I'm going to try and cheat and get him on uh, Facebook with me so we can start having more conversations with the people. And uh, Phillies are in the playoffs. Playoffs? Playoffs? <laughs> The Phillies are Friday. in the playoffs. Friday and Saturday. I know. I got to get my beard red. I got to get a shirt that fits me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you can't buy a new shirt. No. I messed oh, that up for true, the Sixers playoffs. True, I messed that true. up. Yeah, yeah, I guess I do. I mean, you know, said it still fits me. I mean, got excited and bought a new shirt and <laughs> lost. <laughs> I'm like, I know that. Yeah, I guess I guess we gotta keep traditions <laughs> rolling. All right, we are out. We'll talk to y'all. Uh, subscribe, like, share, and all the things that people tell you're supposed to do. Whatever. <laughs> we'll talk to you. We out.